I gave myself 30 days to improve my shot power, and if I failed, I'd force myself to use this wooden hockey stick for the rest of the season. I thought I had a pretty hard shot. Thanks, Edward. But I was humbled quickly when four players came to my hockey training headquarters and three of the four measured a harder shot than me. And come to think about it, I can't remember the last time I've really blasted a puck past a goalie. Seeing players like Matthews, Line, and even the likely 2023 number one draft pick Connor Bedard effortlessly rip the puck made me wonder, have I been training wrong all these years? I had to try something new, so I went to the lab and created an extreme 30-day plan to see if I could build up my shot to something more respectable. It started by getting my initial radar readings on day one. I took 10 snapshots and used the average Average my top five speeds to determine my shot power so I can compare it at the end of the 30 day challenge. Sometimes being a dad gets extremely busy and workouts are usually the first to get cut from my schedule. So to ensure I don't skip any workouts throughout this challenge, I'm putting my goal scoring abilities on the line with the wood stick punishment if I can't improve my shot power during the challenge. Day one workout in the books. Haven't worked out this hard in a long time. 29 more days of this should be fun. There are three main components to my training over this challenge. The first is a six second shot power system. This is a protocol I came up with that includes shooting pucks in groups of three. You will shoot three pucks at full power, rest for a few breaths, and repeat for a prescribed number of pucks. Breaking the shooting into three pucks at a time better fits the model of power development and will no doubt help me improve my shot power better than the traditional shoot 100 pucks and then pick them up model, which would work more on conditioning. These shooting workouts would be done two times per week during the challenge. Next is the daily shot power routine which will consist of a lower body stability exercise, a lower body isometric, and a core stability exercise. The routine progresses in difficulty each week but it only takes about five minutes to complete and because of its low intensity can be done every single day. And the last component is my gym workout plan which includes two total body sessions each week. I ensured the training emphasized core stabilization, rotational core power, and overall total body power which all play a major role in shot power. The training was going great for the first two weeks then this happened. It wouldn't be a challenge without me having some type of injury last night i was on a breakaway got tripped up went flying into the boards jammed my wrist up pretty bad you can see how swollen it is there i can't hold a dumbbell or a barbell but i'm going to alter my training and keep going with this challenge not going to let it stop me so let's go for the next two weeks shooting was a no-go but luckily i could alter my gym workouts and kept things rolling with the challenge all right, we're into the final week of training here for the challenge. I had a bit of a setback this past week. I couldn't do any shooting at all. So that was actually my first shooting in over a week. Um, I'm a little bit nervous that that would have set me back a little bit because I really don't want to use a wood stick for the rest of my men's league games. It would be fun to use it for maybe one game, but the rest of the season would be tough. But I'm going to put some extra hard work in this next week and then we'll do some testing and see how I do. See if I can add a mile or two to my shot. Stay tuned. I finished the last week by working the hardest I had all challenge, then gave myself two days off to recover so I can enter the testing fresh. It's time for the moment of truth. Would my training pay off or would I be packing my shearwood on Tuesday night? Go. So after running the numbers, my average shot power increased by two miles per hour. That may not seem like a whole lot, but if you think about my experience training in the gym for more than 15 years, and the fact that the challenge was only one month long, it's a very solid result. And if a younger player or anyone with less training experience followed a similar plan, I wouldn't be surprised if the results were even better. I had two main takeaways from this challenge. The first was if you're training for shot power, you should focus on power when shooting pucks instead of just shooting through a bucket of pucks to get in as many reps as you can. And number two, if you skip workouts or certain exercises like I used to do, you're likely going going to be running on a hamster wheel, putting in some effort, but not getting anywhere. You need to be consistent and stick to the plan to see results. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions about the training that I did throughout this challenge, let me know in the comment section below. I'm also going to share more information about the six second shot power system over at the Hockey Training TV app. So download that app if you haven't already. Smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go.